Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jeff Flash, and as you can see, I'm back and I'm doing another gameplay of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Movie 2007 Wii Game. Now I can assure a lot of you, or some of you, are asking me right now, why in the world am I playing this game again since I've already completed it? Well. After completing this game, it's been like weeks ago since I did my first gameplay and I completed this weeks ago. After that, I pretty much asked the Joe Flash Club on Snapchat and Instagram, which are basically just based off of my Waxachi friends, you know, but it doesn't matter. I asked them if they wanted me to do a second gameplay of this game, but this time with all the goodies unlocked, which are basically just like extras you know they're just you know it's in the extra spot and if and I suggest you look at my very first gameplay on the very first mission I did with Leonardo because before I start the game I even talk about all the things that happen so you know I look at the extras and I talk about the goodies I suggest you watch that first and you'll be able to know what it is but I'll tell you about it still I'm just gonna go ahead and select my profile here I'm gonna still use my same profile because you know so look here, let me go into the extras real quick so I can show you. See, here's the goodies down here. Now what this is, is as you said, as I mentioned, it's pretty much just extras and fun stuff for the Ninja Turtles. So, I mentioned about this in my very first gameplay on my very first mission. You know, before I even got in the mission, I was talking about this and other stuff, you know. So, if you haven't seen my very first mission, and... and game playthrough of it then you should see that first because I talk about it and everything so you know now what this is is just basically it's fun you know it's to make it basically make the characters look goofy and everything and by the way after when I talked to the snapchat and Instagram Jeff Flash Club they only I've only got a few responses saying yeah although on snapchat though there was one guy that said no and that was Luke he's my best friend but for some unknown reason, he doesn't like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I never got to ask him why, but I probably might need to the next time I go to church Wednesday, though. I have no idea why he does not like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but whatever. And then earlier today, I actually make I made an Instagram story. I posted something on my Instagram story where I was asking people, basically everybody who subscribed to me on Instagram, if they wanted me to do it again with all these goodies I was talking about. Pretty much, there was like 13 votes saying yes, and there was actually no votes saying no, so pretty much everybody just wanted me to do it, and I decided to yes. So I did, I was hoping that they would say yes so I could do it again, and I really actually wanted to, because I actually love this game, you know, it's my favorite Wii game of all time so far. So I did, and here you go. So the goodies are just basically fun, as I said. I know you probably may not, I probably may have forgotten what they are, even though you may have not looked back at my first one, but I'll still tell you anyway. So it's basically just fun, you know? What these are, as you can see, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Nightwatch's big heads. It's where they wear giant masks heads, and you know, they look pretty funny, you know? Weekend weapons, as I said, where the Ninja Turtles will have different kind of weapons. Leonardo uses, like, golden sticks. 
Michelangelo, I have no idea what he uses. Probably sausages, whatever, I don't know. They make squeaky noises, too. Donatello uses a broomstick, and Raphael uses... What were they? Spatulas, yeah. And they make, like, a boingy noise. It's pretty weird. Halloween baddies is where the bad guys dress up in all these weird costumes. Some of them, like... Foot ninjas, like, wear hats. The sewer guys, like, wear, like, boots. The purple dragons wear, like, pink dresses. And the red ones, they just wear, like, aprons, like, chefs, you know? And then the... And then the... The... The medallion from Leonardo's missions in South Af America. They just wear, like, red and green elf costumes, so, you know? And that's what that is. That's what the Halloween baddies are. And the ghastly gas is just where... Basically, while you're playing the game, is where the Ninja Turtles, while you're playing as them, all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, just randomly, a little fart will come out. So, you know, a little gas will just come out. It's pretty funny, to be honest. It doesn't sound like nasty, like it's nasty if it were to be a real life, so it's kind of funny. And that's just what these goodies are. They're just meant to make things funny and everything. And I have just about enough coins to unlock them all. I have 120, so I can just count right now, you know, 40, 50, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, just about 100 for each and every one of them, and I have just enough. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock them all. Let's do it. I'm going to go right ahead and unlock them all. And when you first get them, they'll pretty much just already have check marks, meaning you did uh, unlock them, you know? <laughs> it's pretty funny it says, unlock this yummy goody. What's so yummy about it? They're not like, you know, eatable things, whatever. I don't know why I said eatable, but whatever. <laughs> that sounds so weird, eatable. But whatever. Doesn't matter. So as I said, I just have enough to unlock them all, and there you go, they're all unlocked. So now I have just 20 coins now. And when you and after when you do, they'll already be checked mark, you know. They're already gonna be checked mark, which means they will be available. So, so if you press A, then they'll be unboxed, which means they will not be available. You know, the Ninja Turtles will not have the big heads on. They'll have their regular weapons, and the Halloween baddies will not have their. You know, outfits I was talking about, and there will be no gases. But with them check mark, which means they will have them. And you'll pretty much get to see it when I start playing, because this is what it's all about. Doing another gameplay, but this time with all the goodies unlocked and available while I'm playing this game. And of course, we're going to start from the very first mission again. Of course, we're going to be completing it like normally, like usual. So let's go out on ahead and restart this gameplay with all the goodies unlocked, shall we? We're going to go through mission one, of course. We're going to do it like mission like one, two, three, and all that. So we're going to get right into the very first mission on how the game started, and that is the very first mission featuring Leonardo, and it's called the Mystical Jungle. So let's go right on ahead and do it, shall we? Alright, let's get into it. But hold on, have a look. So here you go, you can see what I'm talking about. Have a look at Leonardo. <laughs> look at that. If you're wondering what that is, that's actually the Cowabunga Carl mask that Michelangelo wears for the fourth mission. It's pretty funny. And you can see he's got the zipper on, he has no belt on. And there's the weapons I was talking about, he's got golden sticks. So that's what I'm talking about. So that's part of it, of the goodies, so now you know. So that's what Leonardo will look like when you have all the goodies unlocked. He'll have those golden stick weapons, and he'll actually have Cowabunga Carl's mask on. Now, I know it's actually kind of weird, because I feel like Michael... And there's that gas, see there? 
And I know you guys probably should have said Michael Angelo probably needed it on. So yeah, that was those coins. After I completed the mission, now you know I can actually get them now, and I can a lot more stuff. It's just hard for me to talk when Splinter's talking, but anyway, as I was mentioning, so now you see what Leonardo looks like with the goodies unlocked. This is what he'll look like. And after completing that game, as I said, for the first time, then when you replay it, then those coins will be available and you can unlock some other stuff. And I know it's pretty weird that Leonardo's wearing the mask, you know? Because you probably should be thinking, maybe Michelangelo should have, because, you know, it's it was his mask, you know? But for some reason, they didn't... But for some reason in this game, they just didn't allow Michelangelo to wear his own mask after, the like, in the fourth mission. They just gave him a different mask. Michelangelo's goodie, where his big head is, where he wears this... It's basically the monster, little red monster that attacks Night Watcher in the movie. It's that helmet. So Leonardo's pretty much the one that keeps the Cowabunga Carl mask on while doing the game when you have the goodies unlocked. Michelangelo just basically only has the Cowabunga Carl mask on during the fourth mission, and then when you start playing him with the Ninja Turtles, you know, when they're all four of them are together, you know, then he'll have that big head on, as I said, the little monster head. It's pretty weird that Leonardo gets to wear the mask and not Michelangelo, because as I said, this Cowabunga Carl mask is really Michelangelo's. So it's really weird, but whatever. So this is what Leonardo will look like, as I say, when you have the goodies unlocked. It's gonna be pretty funny, so hold on. Sooner or later we'll reach up to those medallions, as I said. I mean, actually, no, I did not mention them, but sooner or later we're gonna reach up to those medallions, and you'll see what they'll look like with the goodies unlocked, you know? They'll be dressing up in weird costumes. When you jump against the wall, you can run backwards for extra height, and can also leap away from the wall. Oh, here we go. Look at them, look at them. Get a good look. Look at him, he's green, look at that. <laughs> look at him, he looks like an elf. Look at it. So that's what those sword ones will look like. The other ones with the guns, they'll wear red. Hold on, let me just destroy these guys. And let me just go ahead and destroy these guys real quick. So that is what... The medallions will look like. This is what they'll look like when you have the goodies unlocked. They will be wearing these masks. I mean, actually, they'll be wearing those green suits like elves. It's pretty funny, just trust me. It's really, really funny. Alright. It's hilarious. <laughs> they just look like real elves, you know? It's funny. And as I said, when we reach up to the gunner ones in the fifth mission, then they'll wear red. So as I said, that's just what these goodies are about. They're just ma mainly to make the game when you play it again. It's just mainly make meant to make it look funny and goofy and everything. It's just for fun, you know. For me, for maybe even more fun, you know. And it actually kind of is. It just makes it funny, but it's still the same, you know. But it does make things a little bit more interesting and funny when you play it again, you know. This is kind of funny, to be honest. But anyway, let's do it. So as I said, we're just replaying it, and as I said, you guys just wanted me to do it again, but this time with all the goodies unlocked, and just you guys are getting what you want. So I'm doing the first mission again. I'm replaying the whole thing, and I'm doing the first mission with Leonardo in the mystical jungle. All right, here we go. I gotta focus on this. This part gets kind of hard. Uh oh, I slid. Oh, I don't care. I wasted a few seconds earlier while I was doing that after the thing began, you know, 3, 2, 1 began, because I had to show you what Leonardo looked like. Alright, let's go. I like the way how Leonardo just makes those whoa noises when he just all excited, you know. It's pretty funny. Leonardo is my favorite Ninja Turtle still. You probably should have already known that, I've been mentioning that so many times, you know. I just find Leonardo really most interesting, because, you know, he really focuses a lot on ninja training, you know. 
despite like Michelangelo in them, you know. And he is pretty much the most powerful turtle, you know. Watch out! Oh, that guy almost had me. It's just so funny just fighting with these golden sticks, you know. God, that was quick. Gosh. All right. And of course, we're making it to the top, so. That's it, pretty much. This is it. There you go. That's it. Mission complete. Wow, I got an A that time. The only reason why is that because I wasted a few time back there. I already have all the challenges complete. And as I said, when you replay the mission. After when you complete it for the first time, you'll be able to get those coins, as you know. So there you go, and I got all five of them. So you gotta try desperately to try to find them while you're playing the game. It could waste you a bit of time, but you know. I don't exactly know what each and every single one of them are in this game, but I can eventually find some of them, you know. And alright. So basically, that's the first mission, you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike, give it a thumbs down. Join me in the next video when we do, t when we do mission two. With the Night Watcher, and but until then, so jo as I said, join me next time, and we'll do mission two with the Night Watcher. But until then, this is Jeff Flash signing off, and have a good day.